Blocking and cribbing is the term used to describe the procedures to secure a machine, component, or attachment before working on it. Blocking and cribbing has one purpose, prevent unexpected and unwanted movement. Never work under a machine, component, or attachment that is not properly secured. Time spent properly blocking and cribbing is literally time spent saving your life. As with service work on any machine, you should read and understand all service manuals and service information available for the work you will be doing. Also, be sure to use any appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE. In addition to those standard rules, be sure to inspect the surface you'll be using. Surface condition is critical to safe blocking and cribbing. At a minimum, the machine should be well balanced on at least three points of support. The next steps are to lower all attachments or insert blocking brackets on hydraulic cylinders. Then lock out any opportunity to start the machine or move any attachment. Never depend solely on hydraulics to support anything you are working under. It boils down to the age-old advice, don't bet your life on an O-ring. In a shop environment with a hard, level, solid surface, blocks and or jack stands are typically used. Cribbing, the placement of wooden blocks in a cross pattern, is the best way to create a solid surface in the field. Thorough inspection of every item or device you are using must precede any work. Among the items on your inspection list should be ensure the blocks are hardwood, oak, with good grain and free of flaws. Oak has the ability to withstand weight stress. Discard any blocks with splits, rounded edges, or other defects. Inspect jacks, jack stands, and cranes for cracks or other damage. Read and understand all warning labels on jacks, jack stands, and cranes. Know the capacity of all jacks, jack stands, and cranes. Know the capacity of any chains, wraps, or wire ropes you'll be using. Once you're confident with your equipment, you'll need to know the weight of any item you will be lifting. The disassembly and assembly module in every Caterpillar service manual shows the weight of all components, implements, and attachments. Remember that mud, dirt, and debris will add to the weight. Safe machine servicing should be your goal every day. If your work involves lifting a machine, component, or attachment of any kind, proper blocking and cribbing practices are the first step toward that goal.